I'm going to demonstrate how straightforward it is to set up the personal hotspot function of an iPhone. Many iOS devices have this capability. I'm using iOS 6. Uh, we want to share out the, in this case, Verizon LTE connection with multiple computers. And the easiest way to get started is to do that over Wi-Fi. So let me dive in and show you. Tap on Settings. It says the word personal hotspot because I've run this before. In your case, it won't if you've never done it before. So you need to go into general and then tap on cellular. And now you'll see personal hotspot is turned off. Let's go in and read all about it. It's telling us we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB as methods to do this. Let's get started with Wi-Fi. We'll hit tap, turn it on. And now it's telling us it's discoverable. That means this Windows 8 laptop should see it just fine and there's the password prompt telling me what to type in. You can change it by tapping there. I'll leave it alone in my case. The Apple iOS just auto-generated that password for me and I'll leave it as is. Now, if I hit Windows key and C, it brings up charms. You can also swipe from the right on touchscreen enabled devices. Go into settings and then click on that thing that says limited in this case. That's the network icon. So it's listing out all the networks, including T-Brand's iPhone. Exactly what it told me to connect to. It's saying WPA2, 802.11n, we can ignore all that and just click it and then click connect and leave the automatically checkbox on. So we don't have to type it every time or click on it every time. It'll automatically connect in the future. Now it's ready for the network security key. And we're in. It's that easy. You may notice an illuminated display showed up on the phone. Let's get a closer look at that. It's animated. It's got this nice changing color display at the top, warning us we're in hotspot mode. Everywhere we go on the phone, it shows up. Even if we tap on power, even the lock screen says we're in personal hotspot mode. Now when we're ready to dive back in and turn it off, it's as easy as tapping right on the blue area at the top. Okay, so we're done with hotspotting. Now if all computers can disconnect, the blue pulsing area at the top also goes away. So it's still discoverable though by other, other computers in that mode. So now we've disabled any ability for anyone to connect. Remember, they still need the password to connect successfully. Okay, so the phone has a very obvious way to tell you that someone's connected. Now, on the computer, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the physical switch on the side to disable Wi-Fi. So the wireless radio is off. So I want to now demonstrate that we can get Windows 8 to see this phone over USB as well. So I've plugged in the USB cable. It's got FireWire at the other end. Excuse me. <laughs> it's got Lightning at the other end. And I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Now, I actually want you to see the desktop. Right here we've got a list of network adapters, and iTunes is installed in this machine. Okay, That's important because there's a driver in there. That'll make it just magically discover this phone, when I wire it in, as a network adapter. So, I can go ahead and plug in. Okay, Not much has happened yet. Why? Because I don't have the hotspot function on yet. iTunes did launch. We'll go ahead and close iTunes. We don't need that in our face. We're not using that. It's not even important or relevant. What is relevant is we've got to go ahead and turn on the personal hotspot function again. Okay, it's on. Now we should see device manager light up and show an Apple mobile device Ethernet. It's that simple. And at the top it says personal hotspot one connection again. So there you have it. Two ways to use your iPhone as a network device. The second way has a very nice advantage of charging the phone while you're using it for internet. So hopefully you found this video helpful and I thank you for watching. Your comments are always greatly appreciated.